Optimization Techniques in Pharmaceutical Formulation and Processing. Presentation by SayPeople.com. Introduction. First of all it is necessary to understand the meanings of optimization. To optimize is to make as much perfect as possible. It is the process of obtaining optimum formulation. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, optimization means an act, process, or methodology of making something as a design, system, or decision, as fully perfect, functional, or effective as possible. Specifically, the mathematical procedures. Optimization techniques are the research analytical tools for a problem which are available to a researcher. These problems are related to pharmaceutical formulation, composition of the delivery system, and process design. These involve mostly mathematical techniques and novel drug delivery systems. In mathematics, optimization is the process of obtaining of maxima or minima. In most of the cases, Lagrangian method of optimization has been used for solving problems. There are certain variables in optimization techniques regarding pharmaceutical formulations. These variables are of two types. 1. Independent variables. 2. Dependent variables. Optimization refers to obtaining resultant actions of our own interest by changing the independent variables one by one. Optimization is also sometimes referred to as multi-criteria decision-making. There are two types of problem which are usually addressed in the optimization techniques. 1. Unconstrained. 2. Constrained. Mathematical form of optimization analysis. Classical optimization was analyzed by using graphs and calculus. In the case, when we use calculus, y is taken as a function of x. y equal fx. When two independent variables are taken then, y equal fx1, x2. In the method of graphical representation, a simple graph of response along y-axis is plotted with an independent variable along x-axis showing a line with certain minimum or maximum values. When two independent variables are taken then the contour plots are drawn as shown in the figure. Here the contours are showing the resultant action slash character i response. Contour represents the connecting point showing the peak level of something such as response. Nowadays following type of response surface can be used for the analysis of dependent variable response or resultant action slash character by changing the independent variables. Methods for optimization techniques. Several methods can be of use in applied optimization. 1. Evolutionary operations. 2. The simplex methods. 3. The Lagrangian method. 4. Search method. 5. Canonical analysis. Forms of optimization techniques. There are three forms of systematic optimization techniques. 1. Sequential optimization techniques. 2. Simultaneous optimization techniques. 3. Combination of both. Sequential methods. This method is also referred to as the hill climbing method. As first of all a small number of experiments are done and further research will be done by using the increase or decrease of response. In this way a maximum or minimum will be reached i.e. an optimum solution. Simultaneous methods. This method involves the use of full range of experiments by an experimental design and the results are then used to fit in the mathematical model and maximum or minimum response will then be found through this fitted model. Artificial neural network and, and optimization of pharmaceutical formulations and has been entered in pharmaceutical studies to forecast the relationship between the response variables and causal factors. This relationship is nonlinear relationship and is most successfully used in multi-objective simulatinous optimization problem. 
This problem arises when the favorable conditions of formulation for a simple property may not be favorable for other characteristics. Radial basis functional network RBFN is proposed for multi-objective simultaneous optimization problem. RBFN is an N in which activation functions are radial basis functions RBF. RBF is a function whose value depends only on the distance from the center or origin. Applications Through the optimization of the microencapsulation, parameters such as shape of microcapsules, the strength of the microcapsule membranes, and the membrane permeability of microcapsules now it is possible to develop more better forms of microcapsules for the treatment of diabetes and liver diseases. Optimization techniques are also helpful in reducing the time of experimentation, study of pharmacokinetic parameters, and high-performance liquid chromatographic analysis. One of the most important applications of pharmaceutical optimization is found in the field of new drug discovery, as the physicochemical and biological properties of a system can be improved by chemical modifications using optimization techniques. For more information visit saypeople.com.